four decades, if things get a little tough around Tucson, only two words are necessary. Bear down. And that's what the Arizona Wildcats hope to do in front of their homestanding fans today. This matchup today, part of the lifeblood of the sport, a rivalry game where the results will be remembered for a lifetime. As we see a squad from the Big 12, the Arizona State Sun Devils, taking on the 16th ranked team in the land, the Arizona Wildcats. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. Arizona will put it away to start this one. He'll bring it back from inside his five. And the coverage team able to wrestle him down. So Arizona State's offense will have plenty of work to do after that return was bottled up. Guys, they battle for the Territorial Cup and bragging rights in the desert. Yeah, and the three of us have been part of this rivalry. We've seen it up close before, calling this game in the past. And we know these two fan bases, man, they do not like each other. Disdain, distaste. This rivalry goes back to before Arizona was an official state. Just think about how deep and how old this rivalry is. Yeah, and you use these running backs so much in the passing game now, and you expect him to make those plays for you, to make those big explosive plays out of the backfield. Just got to make sure he concentrates and see that ball come in. That incompletion leads to second down and 10. The give to the back. He kept those legs moving, got three out to the 19. The first time the Sun Devils and the Wildcats met, Arizona wasn't even a state yet. It was 1899. Reese Davis, college football aficionado, and a history buff, too. Great history between these two schools, though. Yeah, and it goes back, obviously, that long. So many classes, so much hatred. It's beautiful when rivalries really matter, and it matters to the people in Arizona. And they sniff that draw out. They draw you, and you really have to sell that pass like you're going to throw the ball down the field. But the defensive line, the defense was not fighting it. You could tell they were ready for it. Came, got on the running back, got him on the ground, quick and fast, and in hard. The Sun Devils send out the punt unit. Fair catch called for and made. So the Arizona Wildcats offense headed onto the field. Our first look at them today. One way to mitigate the explosive capabilities he has on the outside is be physical with him, and this dude will do that. He will do that, and you don't see a lot of offenses take the top off this D because of this guy roaming around in the middle of the field. He is a true center fielder, so this receiver's going to have to make plays. But just does such a great job of getting guys on the ground. A lot of people are in position, but he makes plays, so him versus a dynamic wide receiver on the outside would be a great matchup. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. Right back to him on the ground. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. Zona Zoo had a huge celebration with a big win the last time they saw the Devils. And it just felt like in that game, everything Arizona dialed up was working. Arizona State's defense in this game, David, they have got to play better. They got to play better. They got to step up because last time the Sun Devils got that pitchfork stolen and the Wildcats used it on them over and over again. What a nifty run there to pick up the first down. I think it's really important for this offense. They get this guy going early in the game, and they're doing a nice job of that right now. Remember, he's the kind of running back who gets better as the game goes on. That's a really good omen for this offense, considering his success now early. Arizona going back to work with another first down. From the gun to give, looking for room. He gets it across the 25 to the 24, give him five on the carry. All right, great little run. You missed it. It wasn't phenomenal. He didn't get a first down, but what does it do? Now it makes second down easier. The play caller looking at his sheet going, all right, I can throw it, I can run it. Still in a great position. Way to, way to stay ahead of the chains. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Going to run it. It's Haynes. Fights off a defender. And he found plenty of running room on that one before the defense was finally able to get him down. That has got to be demoralizing if you're on defense because they just ran the ball right up the middle, down your throats, and they gashed you. 
The Wildcats are rolling down the field. Quarterback on the keeper. And a nice run there before the defense finally makes the stop. Yeah, and that's the hard thing about these QBs that can move and run all over the place and give you so many options is that that didn't even look like much, but he chews up so much yardage and gets those little gains that just death by a thousand cuts that continue to happen with this offense. The give to the back. He bullies his way all the way down to the five-yard line. Boy, they love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. Looking to throw for it. Fires to the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, Arizona. They can use this first score to sort of set the tone, guys, in this rivalry matchup. Man, doesn't this feel good to come out, score early, get the crowd involved, get the nerves out of the way, Palmer, when you're playing in a big rivalry game? Yeah, and I feel like momentum is always a big thing in any game, but in rivalry games, it's that much more important because everybody is going to feed off that first score now. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they get the first seven of the game. That drive covered 57 yards for the touchdown. And the score comes on a five-yard touchdown pass. Kickoff team lining up to send this one away. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Arizona State is going back on offense, and they come out looking for a spark. Little touch pass to the receiver. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. with the running game on first down now back at it on second down they'll take to the air got it set up on the outside didn't have much room to run and not a whole lot of help short game there and still plenty of ground to cover for the first down and so many things have to come together perfectly for a screen to work for big yardage and they were close. You could tell that almost busted, but they just got wrapped up. Got a little bit of yardage, but they really wanted that one to be a big game. On third and long, he has to throw for it. Quickly complete. He steps out of bounds, but he's got a first down on the play. These routes have some reads and adaptability built in, and the big fella found that cushion and made the play. Man, it's so awesome how much offenses have evolved. They know exactly what they're getting, where to sit down, quarterback, tight end, on the same page, gets the first down. Got it behind the line. It's McClay. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. I like the idea on offense. You want to get this guy the football in as many ways as possible. So you throw him the screen quickly to see if he can make somebody miss. Doesn't work there, but that should not be the last time you run that play. This offense has a second down play. The give to the tailback. Just working and poking and prodding and finding his way up to the 36. And a nice job by the running back finding space, getting downhill, making a good run. Great job finishing with his pads. Let's see if they keep it on the ground here on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Just had to get rid of that one to save the yardage on third down. Defense did a great job. Third and short on the opponent side of the field. They're expecting quick throw. Everybody, they dug their heel on the ground. They're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. And the Sun Devils will try to pin them back with the punt. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. 
He'll wave for the fair catch and haul it in at the 25. Arizona has it back. The offense coming out to bear down. Leaves it with the back. Surges across the 30. Out to the 32. A six-yard run. And this running back just doesn't go down easily. It's just difficult for defenses to get him on the ground. Not a really huge, but if I'm an offensive coordinator, I'm going to continue to find ways to feature him and just, yeah, you know what, let his talent do the rest. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with second and four. Right back to it. Just willed his way for a couple out to the 35. These are the types of plays where offenses impose their will. Third and short from the 45. Trying to pick it up on the ground. He'll have enough for the first down, and they stop him at the 45. Big third down conversion, getting the ball to your running back, and he does the rest. This guy, I think, will get a lot more touches. And you want to know why he's on the field on third down? Because he can block, he can catch the ball, and you can also hand it off to him, and he can go find the sticks and keep drives alive. What a weapon. The give on the inside. Still on his feet at the 45. They are finding soft spots in this defense. He's got it down to the 25. Defense is going to have their hands full trying to stop this guy. They better rally to the football and get multiple hats because he is not easy to bring down. Arizona in a hurry. They'll run it out of the shotgun. And a good, solid pick up there before the defense knocks him down. I love teams that make it a priority to run the football, and they have today another good run by this running back. He's been doing it all night, over 100 yards on the day. Really, really good night for this young man. Eight-yard pickup on first down leaves them with second and short. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. They get him on the ground, but it's a first down. You know, they pride themselves on being physical at the point of attack, dominating at the line of scrimmage. Nice job there picking up the first down. Arizona comes out with another first down. Fast motion from the offense. Touch pass on the jet sweep. And he is just engulfed at the line by this giant defensive tackle play. The first thing you have to do to make these plays successful offensively is I have to block the edge. I, I got to get my speedster in space. They didn't do a good job of getting that guy out there in space where he could really use his jets. Nice job by the defense understanding it, seeing it, rallying to it, and tackling that guy for a loss. He'll be brought down at the five-yard line, and this defense is on its heels. Tight quarters deep in the red zone, but they can pick up a first down without scoring. Third down. Looking for the score. Reels it in in the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. Man, that is so good. There's not he was able to control his body, catch the football, make sure he had a foot down inbounds. It doesn't get any better than that. The AT unit on the field. And the extra point pushes the lead to 14. They march 72 yards, and the score comes on a five yard touchdown pass. They're just about ready to kick it away. On the move from inside is five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Arizona State has the ball back in the offense, making its way onto the field. 
Gonna run it. It's Scatterbolt. And he knock him down after a gain of three to the 23. Got three on first down at second and seven. Gets it out fast. And that had all the makings of Bud Meat windshield. But how about the little corner taking on the big tight end and keeping him from getting the first? Look, you can't take away everything, right? So you give them that and rally and make a solid tie. Yeah, and a lot of times in zone coverage, I like when I can get all the eyes on the quarterback. I like when I can see the routes and see him develop in the middle. And you could tell they had keys on the tight end. He wasn't going anywhere after he caught that football. And the big game, and they've got it on the 46. Yeah, and the quarterback knew exactly where he wanted to go with the football, had time, spins the ball deep. Nice job by this offense, understanding what the defense is giving them and creating the explosive play. As they get set to snap at time, winding down here in the quarter. That's the end of the quarter, and Arizona has the lead here. They wanted to strike first and strike hard, and they've been able to do that here in the first quarter as we take a look at the stats. This could be a pivotal moment in this game as we open the second period, and they try to find a way to answer. Motion trying to get the defense to show his hand. Quarterback quick pass to the receiver. And he was able to run through a tackle, and they finally get him, but not until he picks up the first down. It's so hard for a defense to have to stop plays like that because it really forces you to play with great eye discipline. You see the pre-snap motion. Defense doesn't know if he's just running across the field and he's going to run a route, if he's going to block, or if he has the football. That time, he was able to outflank the defense and hurt them to get that first down. And he does a really nice job finding open space and making a good game before the stop is made. Keep pounding away at this defense and make them play the run. If you can get this many a chunk, they're going to have to commit more guys to the box, more guys to the run, then you open it up for the pass. Got eight on first down, now looking at a second and two. Off the play fake. Just flying through the air like a superhero to make the grab. Man, I, I love those guys that are willing to put their body on the line. And he does it right here, man. Just lays out. That ball's coming in. You can see it from several yards out, making that play, laying out, keeping the football from touching the turf. Great concentration, great effort by the receiver. They'll throw it on first down. Makes the catch. Takes it to the house. Touchdown, Arizona State. A much needed life from this offense as they try to cut away at this lead. No doubt. Needed something to go right. You're down, you gotta make plays, you gotta get your team back in it. Great start, keep chipping away. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And after the extra point, they've the cut the lead in half, down 14-7. So it's an 80-yard drive, and they finish it with an 11-yard touchdown dart. The kickoff team out there and ready to go. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The run from the shotgun. Stopped at the 25 after a five-yard gain. When you're a defense, it is stop the run first. That is your first responsibility. It makes the whole game easy. And right now, they got it going on the ground. The defense is going to have to change something up. These little tiny dink and dunk, dink and dunk. You keep doing this, they'll go all the way down the field on you. So you might want to get a little bit more aggressive. Give to the back. Runs through the tackle. Defense in the right spot. They stop him after a gain of two to the 28.
Here they come, trying to convert a third and short from the 28. They'll try to run for it. At the 40, there he goes! And he was loose and not stopped until he gets to the 47-yard line. And how about that on third down? You give it to your playmaker in the backfield, and he's able to use his speed to go get the first. And he's a guy that you should be focusing on with this offense. He's definitely a game-breaker. He's a guy that they starred, you know, going into this matchup that they had to stop. Third down, money down. You figured they might probably get him the football. They do, and they get the first down. They'll run it from the gun. And that's a very productive first down play in bringing up second and three. From the shotgun, they'll run it. And he's tripped up, but not before picking up the first down. Wow, the running back there showing you his skill set as he's able to rip off that one for a first down. Arizona has the offense humming set up with another first down. He'll do it himself. Dances away from one. And he's able to bounce off one tackle for a solid pickup. Yeah, and after the QB calls his own number and all these options, obviously multiple plays, he decides to stick with it, get some positive yards, and, and now what's next off of that? What's my next read off of that? How am I going to mix things up and keep this defense off balance? Now on second down. Wants to throw. It's Fafita. And he's all bottled up, and now it's worse. The ball's loose. The defense pounced on that, and now they're headed the other way. And they'll drag him down after a good return. Those are hard for offensive linemen when they get beat, and you're going, no, look out for your blind side. Watch out. But a great job rushing the quarterback, getting him on the ground, and getting the football out. A little extra bonus. Nice job by the defense getting nasty. Arizona State is going back on offense, and they come out looking for a spark. Jesse looking to take it down the field for back-to-back -back touchdowns. I think it's really important for them moving forward, too, to have a lot of balance, right? You want to be able to keep this defense guessing up. Yeah, and you got me searching for answers after that last drive. You stack another drive on top of this, their defense's heads are going to be spinning all over the place. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. He's looking to throw. It's complete to the right. And he'll run across the sidelines after the good game. Yeah, and I tell you what, when you stick these fast suckers in the slot, they don't have to be big. But you get those guys that are so quick in the slot, they can get great matchups, and I can get the ball to them quick because they're such dynamic playmakers. Line is set on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. That's reeled in. It's McLean. Excellent job working through the air there, finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. And that's a first down for the offense. The Sun Devils come to the line with a new set of downs. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. A strike downfield. Really nice job there by both guys to throw and the catch to work that defense and get the first down. Nice route, nice catch by this receiver. What's important for a quarterback throwing the in route to a guy in the slot? Well, I think he has to have great timing, and I think the receiver needs to get his right depth so that they know exactly where the, each other is going to be and when the ball is going to be in the air. These two have outstanding timing with one another. You'll take this every time. Five yards on the first down play. Hey, five to six yards a pop. I don't know if you guys are really good at math, but that usually equals a first down every couple carries. So don't forget about the run game. Keep them honest. Pound that rock. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. He's looking to throw. 
Good job to toss that ball out of bounds and avoid the loss. Boy, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. They'll snap it from the gun on third down. Finds his big tight end. They'll try to get something out of this drive and kick the field goal here on fourth down. From the left hash, this one shouldn't be too much trouble. Oh, that one will leave a mark. No good. After that miss, still a seven-point game, guys. Well, that's one the kicker would like to have back. That's a kick he should be making in his sleep. Arizona sending the offense onto the field. After that last drive, he came back to the sideline, and the coach probably said, you dropped it and you didn't pick it up? Come on, get on the ball, David. No, that's not what he said. He said, you're doing a great job. Just keep your head up. Oh, yeah, he got blasted. You've got to hold on to the football ball. Turnovers to side games, those are big plays. It's tough on him, too, because he knows he let his offense down on that last drive. So you know that guy's eager and anxious to come out here and make a play. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. He'll pull it on the read. Pass the sticks and still on his feet. He is tackled, but it'll be a fresh set of downs. How great is it to be an offensive coordinator having a quarterback like this? Because he can go and generate first downs with you, throwing the ball and running the ball. It seems like there's nothing this kid can't do. With a first down, they'll snap it from the 32. Incomplete, and he threw that one up for grabs and into traffic, fortunate to get it back. Well, this defense knew coming in, they were going to see some RPO, and they were going to see some quick game. A nice job there taking the throw away from the quarterback. After the incompletion, here comes second and 10 from the 32. Takes the handoff. It's Haynes. He's working and poking and prodding and finding his way up to the 36. Here on third down. The play action fake. Looking to take a shot. And trying to put points on the board on third down. Now they're staring at fourth down. Really nice play by the defender. Being in a good position for that deep ball down the field. Not letting the receiver put his big body on him. Go up over top. The only thing that could have been better Number is that they tipped to another defender. And it was an interception. But great coverage by the defender. Fourth down and the punt team sends it the other way. Fair catch called for and taken at the 30-yard line. Arizona State has the ball back in the offense, making its way onto the field. Out of the gun, the inside give. Just working and poking and prodding and finding its way up to the 36. Solid pick up of four on first down at second and six. He's looking to throw. Quick completion on the out. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Nice pitch and catch there from QB to wide receiver. Great job. And an out route is all about timing. One, two, three, boom. Break out, throw it to him right now. Great pitch, great catch. Now on first down after that completion. Hand off from the shotgun. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. Got a little work done on first down, now back to the line. 
flying play action. Throws to the tight end. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. Yeah, and those corner routes are tough to throw for an offense. You try to force it, you know, in between coverage a lot of times. And you can tell it's great defense. Nice job getting a hand in the air, getting it on the football, and making sure that receiver can't make a play. Now facing a third and long from the 50-yard line. From the gun, wants to pass. And here's a fumble way behind the line. Oh, look what I found. The offense keeps it. Good awareness by the offense. You never want to see the ball on the ground. But a nice job understanding to just kind of jump on it and make sure you keep possession. And the Sun Devils will call on their punt team. It's the two-minute warning, and we'll see if the offense can tack a little something extra on their lead before the break. He'll come out throwing on first down. Fires to the tight end. And he laid the lumber to stop him from getting the first down. As a tight end, if you're going to be good in the passing game, you've got to be able to feel the windows when defenses play zone coverage. And he did a really good job of that right there. He didn't rush. He didn't hurry. He took his time, found the soft spot, and gave his quarterback an easy place to throw the football. Looking downfield, it's Fafita. Going deep. Grabs it at the 25-inch stride. Touchdown, Arizona. And once he found open space, the band might as well start playing. Did not take long to get into the end zone. Now let's see if this gets this offense to hit overdrive. Yeah, we may have a situation here. We might have points, more points, and more points. Putting drives together like that, that quickly chewing up that much yardage. Defense is going to have to get something to get out. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point pushes the lead to 14. Aggressive play calling on that drive. Just two plays, they get the long touchdown pass to pay it off. The kickoff team out there set to boot it away. He'll bring it out. It's Brown. He stopped short of the 20 at the 19 and probably wishes he'd just taken the touchback. Arizona State is going back on offense, and they come out looking for a spark. Not a lot of time left here in the half. Let's see if they can cut into this lead. And this drive isn't a must score, but, man, you look at the scoreboard. You're down two scores. Jesse, you got a good opportunity. Create some momentum. Cut it to a one-score game. This is an important possession. Yeah, it's important to create that momentum now, David, too, and not wait to get it going here at the start of the third quarter. You've got one drive here to get a couple of points. You've got to start erasing and chipping away at this deficit. This could be where the game turns right here. The QBs, when you see zone coverage, man, can you manipulate defense when you have a good pocket and you've got time to throw. He had a little bit of time to throw. You can move guys with your eyes. That drag comes wide open. Good throw, good catch, first down. Going up top on first down. Got a man. It's scattable. After the pickup of nine, it's second and one. There's a timeout call as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. And here comes the offense on second down. He's looking to throw. Nowhere close on that one as he got Will trying to deliver the football, and now they face third down. Pressure got to the QB that time. He was trying to find his check down out of the backfield, but the hit forced the incompletion. Went up top on second down. That leaves him needing a yard here on third down. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. And this is going to be incomplete on third. Really nice job by the defense. Playing aggressive, understanding it could be a running situation, but still playing disciplined enough to play the pass and be successful on that third and short. 
Sun Devils decide to punt it away. The punt goes out of bounds and a nice job to get them backed up. I think they'll spot it right around the 15. So the decision has been made and the coach will take the penalty. So the offense keeps his drive alive thanks to the roughing the punter penalty. He lets it fly. He makes a grab. So close to that end zone. He can almost taste it, but it'll be first and goal for this offense. What a beautiful throw and catch on this play. And I love the job the receiver did tracking the ball in the air. Nice job of locating the throw and then hauling it in. And now a chance not only to cut into the lead, but play it just right. And maybe the other team doesn't even get a chance to answer. A first down run on the doorstep. Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, Sun Devils. And that's a nice drive and nice physicality, punching it in with the run game. And here's the thing. I like where this offense is going. Nice job creating some momentum, going into the half, cutting down the lead. This thing could get really exciting. Nice job answering the bell right before the half. Lining up for the PAT. And with the extra point, they're down a touchdown, 21-14. They put together a 65-yard drive for the score. And they finish it off with a short plunge into the end zone. So they got the touchdown, now going to put it in the hands of their defense to finish off this half. On the run from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. A first down for the offense. Here's the handoff. They pick up half of it. It'll be second and five. And they say a quarterback's best friend is a good run game and a good running back. I think he agrees. Over 150 yards on the day. I don't even think I need a quarterback the way he's been running the football all game long. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Guys, all the tradition, all of the bad blood between these programs, it's all kind of come to a boil today in a spirited first half in the fight for the Territorial Cup. And we have to start this halftime breakdown by addressing the play of this elite wide receiver. This is clearly a young man who, once he's finished playing on Saturdays, he's going to be playing on Sundays. The kid has different gears. He has a knack for finding gaps in the defense. And I can't remember a college player with that kind of catch radius. With that, let's throw it back to the guys to see how the battle between Arizona and Arizona State plays out. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Arizona has it back. The offense coming out to bear down. They'll start this third quarter with a run. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. This is the kind of performance, guys, that sort of etches your name in the roar of a rival. And playing big in this big moment, on this big stage, it is so nice to have a playmaker like that that you can highlight, that you can focus on, that you can trust in. He was so excited coming into this game, too, because he knows that oftentimes your legacy as a player is defined by how you play in rivalry games like this. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. Now on second down. From the gun, the ground game. You want to make sure to maximize those types of runs, and he gets it out to the 41. They've got it at the 41, third and short, trying to keep the chains moving. They'll try to power their way ahead. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. 
And a great job by the linebacker. You can tell starting to crowd the line of scrimmage, get up there in the line of scrimmage, see it, diagnose it, get in the backfield, get the running back on the ground for the tackle for the loss. The Wildcats will have to send out the punt team. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. A low line drive and not his best work. Waves the arm for the fair catch, and the catch is made close to the 30-yard line. Comes out throwing on first down. Got his man quickly. They make the stop right there. Good pickup, but still short of the first down. Got the completion on the last play. Still some work to do on second down. He's looking to throw. Snagged in the middle. It's black. Stopped at the 44 after a five-yard game. These guys are called matchup guys. They're not the biggest guys on the field, but they're going to win. Short, and they're going to catch the ball, and they're going to make yards after the catch. You can tell those are the type of guys in college football that are starting to get maximized and used a lot more than they were in the past. The give out of the gun. At the 45 on his way. Couldn't ask for much more there. A first down, and they're down to the 42. This running back loves running into the teeth of the defense. In between the tackles, he keeps a low pad level, and he's got some speed. And the Sun Devils will snap it on first and 10. Looking to move it through the air. He's got his man. Sun Devils headed quickly to the line. Out of the gun, the inside handoff looking for a crease. And this one will be stopped for no gain. Well, they're trying to run the football there, just nowhere to go. They got dominated up front at the point of attack. Trying to move the sticks on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. And a missed opportunity on third down as the defense knocks it free and fourth down is coming up. Well, on third and short in field goal range, they dial up the pass play. Quarterback was trying to get through his progressions. There was just simply nobody open. Couldn't make an accurate enough throw. Ball falls incomplete. Now setting up a big decision here on fourth down. On fourth down, he'll try to toss it. They're bringing heat. He's not going to get there. Stopped short on fourth down. First down here for the offense. From the gun, running back on the move. Still on his feet at the 45. They'll get it to the 48. No need to measure it to first down. I tell you what, with this kind of success on the ground, I, I think you two knuckleheads could call plays. I mean, that's how easy it is for this offense right now. They got the ground game working. It's really easy. Now you can open up for other things, but you guys could even try your hand because they're dominating right now. They'll give it to him again. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. Motion from the offense. From the gun, the running back has it. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. How bold will they be on third down after that last run? Dropping back, it's Fafita. Didn't have much of a choice, just had to throw that one away. It'll be fourth down. 
And, and this offense stays aggressive and they pass the football. I think you can always look back and say, third and short, I'd love for you to run it and be the more physical team. But nice job sticking up and bowing their necks for this defense. Number nine, Arizona runs out the punt team. To kick it away. Not going to get a chance to field that one, and the punt will bounce out of bounds. Arizona State has the ball back in the offense, making its way onto the field. Caught over the middle, it's Santos. He stopped just a chain link or two away from the first down and sets them up beautifully here. And that's why QBs love their tight ends so much, right? Especially when they're athletic, because they make short throws turn into long games. Because of his ability after the catch, it's so unique and special. He is dominant in this offense. And they can't connect, but the flag flies, and I think this is going to be pass interference. <laughs> And the defender just way too handsy on that last play. You could see all the contact as the ball was in the air. He simply can't do it, and the referee's caught. Quick completion to the right. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down mark. Using him out of the slot, he has just been unstoppable. And I love putting dynamic athletes in the slot that I can move around, that I can put in motion, that I can I can make him go in or out. I can put him off the ball so you can't get hands on him. And they've really featured this guy today. They're looking for an advantage to the right. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Well, the offensive line had everybody blocked except the defensive end. He was able to sneak into the backfield and get the tackle for Woods. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third down, going up top. Grab behind the line. It's McClain. He's close to the first down, but they're going to mark him just a little short. And the Sun Devils will line up to punt it away. Fair catch called for, but a flag is on the field. Let's see what that's about. Personal foul. Personal foul. Nothing to kick. Defense. Defense. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. They'll go to the ground. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Well, there's just nowhere to go for the runner on that last play. Just way too much penetration up front. As a result, they lose yardage. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. He's looking to throw. Makes the catch. It's McLean. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throw and catch. Good job by the receiver there not to run into coverage, but to find a spot that the quarterback can throw him the ball. Yeah, on those types of routes, Reese, they say if you're looking, you're booking. So if that's man coverage, the receiver's staring at the quarterback all the way across the field. That time, the receiver didn't give the quarterback his eyes, so they were on the same page. They both knew it was zone, and they executed that perfectly. And a lot of times you want those big plays. You want those splash plays. But sometimes you're going to take some losses. You're not going to run the football overly well. But if you continue to run it, you can at least create some balance. You at least have the threat of it. Otherwise, you're just going to abandon it. And now it's just going to be a passing game. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He's looking to throw. He makes the connection. Tackle is made after the first down. Excellent throw by the quarterback. Found the window between the zones and then delivered the ball on time. The Sun Devils are moving quickly down the field. Looking for space. It's scattable. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. A 
kept it on the ground on first down. Now back to the line. Leaves it with the running back. Picked up maybe a yard. It's down at the 16. Defense has to be frustrated. The offense keeps matriculating and matriculating and matriculating the ball down the field. Going for it all. Right through his hands. He had a touchdown and just didn't look the ball in. It'll be fourth down. On that third down, they took a shot in the end zone, just couldn't connect. QB and receiver not on the same page, and now it's decision time if you're the head coach on fourth. And here comes the field goal unit for the second time tonight. And he'll try to knock it through from 33 yards out. It's good. He hit that one right down the middle. After putting three on the board, the kickoff unit ready to go. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. Arizona sending the offense onto the field. Out of the gun, the give to the back. Got room at the 35. Hit the afterburners, kid. And what a huge chunk play for this offense. Just exactly what you need to move the ball down the field. Every time he touches the ball, you can feel the excitement from this home crowd because Palmer, he can go the distance with that game-breaking speed. You're right, David. He's a special talent. I'll tell you, these fans, they come here to see this guy play because he has game-breaking speed. Stuff you can't coach, you saw it on that play. Linebackers shuffling around, trying to keep the quarterback from getting a read. To the ground. He's got it again. Strong run. Picks up six down to the 22-yard line. I like it. Just frustrate the defense. Get that five to six yards. Make them honor the run. Make them know that you're willing to run the football and run it effectively. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. Dropping back. It's Fafita. Looking for the score. Got it. Can't quite cross the plane to get the six, but they'll have the first down. And you see so many smart wide receivers, so many smart tight ends nowadays that they know where the holes in those zones are, and they work with their quarterback, and they find them, and they sit down in them and make big plays. It's tough to sit back in zone against such smart players nowadays. On the option. Now the toss. Touchdown, Wildcats. And they take it in for six more points. The offense strikes again to extend its lead here in the second half. And they got everything working. How great is this? You extend your lead, now you get your defense back on the field. Great job taking advantage of the situation and building on that lead. He'll try to tack on one more. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. Big catches, big plays, tons of yards through three quarters for these two guys. Not only is the scoreboard on their side, but so too is time as we open the fourth. Just about set to kick it away. 
one. He'll start the return inside his five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Arizona State is going back on offense, and they come out looking for a spark. They shut it down quickly, but he gets two out to the 18. That's a really good job by the defense, wrapping them up, getting them on the ground, take away that run game, make them one-dimensional, put them in passing situations. Really good job by the defense. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. He's looking to throw. Just too much mustard on that one. Can't miss the target that badly. Well, they're trying to attack the middle of the field. That time, the ball a little too high for his wide receiver, and it falls incomplete. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Complete to the right. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. This is the moment for this offense to put a drive together. It doesn't matter what's happened up to the point of this game, but you're trailing right now. You've got to put some points up on the board. This is where all 11 guys need to be playing together as one. And the Sun Devils are in the hurry up. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. And he'll find enough running room to get it just short of midfield at the 49. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. He's looking to throw right down the middle. Got him downfield. They ripped off a big one, and they get it down to the 27. And, man, this quarterback has had a day. With that pass, he goes over 300 yards on the day. Really nice job executing, putting up some yards today. Pretty good day for the young man. The Sun Devils have their offense in high gear. Trying to find his man on first down. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. And the Sun Devils look to do some damage in the red zone. He's back to throw on second down. And the pass is incomplete thanks to a big hit. My job is to make sure that ball comes loose, and I gotta go through that guy, use my shoulder pad, drive my feet, really, really be physical, because if he bobbles it at all, or as soon as his hand gets to the ball, you can tell the difference when that body jerks forward and that ball starts to come loose and pop out. They were all over him, nowhere to go, as that third down play turned into a disaster. Defense is about firing off, hitting the offensive guys and staying in your gaps, everybody knowing where they're supposed to be. You could tell the defense, everyone was right where they're supposed to be, nowhere to run. And now on fourth down, they'll try a field goal. He'll try to knock it through from 38 yards out. And the kicker delivers the three ball to finish off the drive. That makes the score Arizona 28, Arizona State 20. So they were able to put up a three spot on that last drive, and now the kickoff team out there as they prepare to put boot to leather. Here's the return from inside his tent. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Arizona has it back, the offense coming out to bear down. And now that cushion is a little bit smaller, Jesse, and any mistake would get magnified. He's loose! And they'll move the chains and get it to the 47-yard line. 
Not much can impose your will on a defense like popping a big run. Especially when they know you're going to run it, right? This offense right now is just more physical. They're more physical up front in the trenches. And this running back and his ability to break tackles, that is just so demoralizing for this defense. Right back to the well. Still running at the 40. And there they go again with another huge gain on the ground. He's finally run out of bounds. Busting big runs like this is a total team effort. Obviously, the back has to find the hole, but you got to have everybody around them doing their job to make it a good play call. And everybody around them doesn't just mean the offensive line. The receivers getting their blocks downfield is a big deal, too. It's a huge deal. We always talk about them catching passes, but blocking is so important for their responsibilities. They finally get him on the ground with a big running play moves to change for the first down. And when the offense can run the football and you can feature a guy like this that will get more yards than his block that you can really depend on, hangs on to the football, like, it makes offense super easy, especially down the stretch when you want to eat that clock and you want to possess the football. Just nice to have that kind of guy. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. Receiver on the move gets the touch pass. Couldn't quite nudge it in. Not sure you could get much closer, but it'll be first and goal. Yeah, man, way to be creative. Way to get the ball in the perimeter really quickly. Get some speed outside. All you got to do is secure that edge, and you're just trying to get that first down. Nice job. Nice play call by the offense. So this offense has the lead. They have the ball. They have the clock on their side and a chance, perhaps, to put it out of reach. They'll run it on first and goal. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And I love this. If I'm on offense, I'm trying to eat that clock, let it tick down. A field goal here, I'm up by two possessions. I'm still in a very good place. I don't have to get over aggressive, Jesse, if I don't want to. No, and you can put this game out of reach, too. If you can score a touchdown, this thing's basically over. And you know at this area of the field, it's really hard to throw the football because the windows are so small. So be the more physical team. Go ice this game. Man, and that's a frustrating play when you go in reverse near the goal line. Goal to go situations, Palmer. You got to get those positive yards. You can't go backwards if you're trying to get a touchdown. You know, I'm trusting in my quarterback here to make the right decision. Looks like we're going to have to throw it, right? But if it's not open, just throw this thing away. You don't want to take it. He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown, Wildcats. The Wildcats are indeed bearing down as Arizona stretches the lead. Arizona's making plays, and you're starting to see the speed on this roster show itself, David. Yeah, making plays, performing at a high level, especially against a rival. This is impressive by this offense. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point splits the uprights and the lead balloons to 15. They put together an 81-yard drive and they get it into the end zone with a six-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team out there getting set. And he takes this from inside the five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Arizona State has the ball back in the offense, making its way onto the field. It's always great to get points on a drive, but it would behoove them to try to get a touchdown this time around, Palmer. They may have to get out of their comfort zone here too, David, a little bit, and just start being more aggressive and take some chances, but that's what's gonna have to happen for them to win this game. Yeah, and when you're losing, obviously everything gets hyped. Everything becomes more critical. This drive is crucial because you've got to cut into this deficit and put some points on the board. Looking to throw on second down. He's going to run it. 
And he gets it just beyond the line of scrimmage before he gets down. Well, great job there by the defense because they weren't able to get him sacked right away, but you saw the coverage in the back end. No one for the quarterback to throw the football. Didn't get the sack, obviously. You don't get the negative play, but you also don't give up a big one. You're feeling pretty good about where you are right now in this round. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Can't make the play on the interception, and man, they were looking for their first pick of the game. Instead, it'll be fourth down. After that incompletion, fourth and long now on your own side of the field, you're trailing in the fourth quarter. What's your go-to play call here in the passing game? Where is the matchup that you trust in to come up with a big one to give yourself a chance to stay alive and win this game? Shoots it to the left. And it's incomplete way downfield, and the defense rises to the occasion. The offense starts with a short field. Trying to start the drive with a pass. Snares it outside. It's Conley. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. This defense is going to have to be careful. Not only do they have to worry about this guy running the football, but they've got to keep their eye on him when he runs routes, too. He is a versatile back. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. They move the tight end all over. He'll keep it himself. Brought to the ground, but not before getting it up for the first down. It must have been a brutal week for this defense preparing for this game because of all the different ways they can attack you and because of how athletic this quarterback is and how he can hurt you running the football. He just showed it to you right there. And if they can find the end zone here, that might be all she wrote. First and goal. Tight end finds a soft spot. That completion will take it inside the four, and the offense is threatening. Nice catch by the big target. Those big tight ends, you can tell in football, are just becoming more and more of a weapon on every single team. They've pushed it ahead to the four. They'll try to cash in on second and goal. Looking for room, it's Haynes. He works his way all the way down to the three, and the defense is reeling. And with the stuff there, Jesse, on second down, this little third to mid-range, you got two downs. What are you thinking here? Maybe getting your quarterback out on the perimeter and giving him a run-pass option. See if you can get the defense in a bind. If they can pay off this third and goal with a touchdown, it might be getting a little tough to swallow over there on the other sideline. Just about had the pick in the end zone. Instead, it'll be fourth down. Ball hasn't hit the ground a lot for this QB. He's already thrown four TD passes. He saw a look, wanted to take another shot, and that time they just fall short with the incompletion. But this defense, they have not had the answer with respect to defending the pass in this game. Smashes it between the uprights. And that lead grows even bigger. They're really starting to extend that lead as they get ready to kick it away again. He'll bring it out. It's Brown. Bust through behind his pad. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. Arizona State is going back on offense, and they come out looking for a spark. Makes the catch along the sidelines and steps out of bounds. Big fella, the tight end, the wide receiver in a tight end's body going up and making the catch. Now here on second down, see if they keep tossing it around. He's looking to throw. Gets it out quickly. He almost picked up the first down on that one, but he'll be just a little bit short. You know, at this point in the game, guys, trailing the way they are late in the game, check down throws are not going to get it done. You have got to be more aggressive in the passing game. You're going to have to just start taking shots. The Sun Devils want to move quickly.
They'll go to the air on third and short. He's got the tight end. Really confident throw and catch there. Big pickup, and they have a first down. Good enough for first down. And the Sun Devils come to the line with a fresh set of downs. He's going to pass. And a little too much adrenaline on that throw never gave his receiver a chance. That's a good decision by the quarterback. I know that's not going to come up on the stat sheet. When you're in the pocket, nobody's open. Don't risk turning it over. Just throw it away. The incomplete pass leaves him with second down. He's looking to throw. Fires to the wideout. Got his man downfield. They make the stop, but the sweet rolling catch is plenty to give him a first down. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. The Sun Devils are on the move. Lost to throw on first down. It's complete to the left. And not much doing there as that defense runs him out of bounds. And here comes play number six of the drive. Looking to throw it again. The short hands, it's scatterable. And good coverage by the defense, just a short game. Well, here's the problem offensively. Because you're trailing by so much so late in the game, the defense now is going to be playing big zone coverages, and they're going to allow you to throw the ball underneath in the middle of the field, rally to make a tackle and bleed the clock. It's going to be hard now for this offense to claw their way back in this one. Takes it from the gun on third down. That pass not close as he got really trying to deliver it, and it'll bring up fourth down. Well, it's been that kind of day here tonight. They just have not been able to find a rhythm and establish that throwing the football. Part of it has been wide receivers and quarterbacks not being on the same page, but you've got to give this defense credit, too. Just like that last play, they have been getting after him. They've been hitting him, and that's a big reason why they've got such a big lead here in the fourth. Makes a grab enough for the first. Well, they just drained all the suspense out of the fourth down conversion, moving the chains easily. Two minutes now left in this one, and time is running short if they want to find a way to pull this one out. Inside the 15, first and 10 from the 14. He wants to throw. Can't find his man as he took a shot trying to deliver that football, and it'll be second down. Well, this defense felt coming into the game that if he was going to try to throw from the pocket, they could get to him and affect his accuracy, and they did on that last play. Operating in the red zone here on second down. They'll throw again after the incompletion. Not in lockstep there with the receiver. Pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. On third down, he drops to throw. Couldn't find a man and just had to throw it away to avoid a negative play. Well, they take a shot down the field. It's another incompletion. It's really been that kind of story. This defense has made this guy earn it every single play. Really small windows to throw into. One touchdown pass. That's a little bit surprising. You thought maybe they'd have more in this game. On fourth down, looking for the completion. He got it. And he will score. Touchdown, Arizona State. Nice job by the offense going down the field, putting points on the board, but you're still down a couple possessions. Still need some good things to happen. You need your kicker to go over there and get warmed up. We need an onside. We need to score some points. We need a lot of things to go right to win this football game.
Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And it's up and good. Precise, relentless execution on that 13-play scoring drive. And they top it off with a 14-yard pass for the touchdown. They are running out of time here. They need to get the ball back. They'll line up for the onside kick. He's able to grab the football, and the hands team gets the job done. Arizona sending the offense onto the field. They had to settle for the chip shot field goal last time, Jesse. They'd love for this one to pay off bigger. Yeah, it just comes down to execution, too. Did a nice job out in the field, stalled a little bit once they got down to the goal line, so they just need to be a little bit more crisp here. Yeah, and listen, I think the first part was the most important part. You've got to put the drive together first to get down there. Now, when we get down there, focus on execution and getting six points. They'll keep it on the ground, trying to milk the clock. At the 20, he's got space. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. This guy's been special today. Coming into this one, they thought they had an opportunity really to get him going, running the football, and he has delivered. You've seen the speed, the vision, his ability to break tackles. Well over 100 rushing yards in this game, and that's why they have a nice lead here late. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. Wide out in motion. Touch pass on the run. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. Third down coming up. A third and long coming up here. Wide receiver coming across in motion. To the ground with the back. And how about that alertness and that swarming D to keep him from getting the first down? The Offense facing fourth down. And they'll send the field goal team back out for the second time tonight. Kick is good. The offense has three points to show for the drive. And now the lead is even bigger. That last field goal was huge. Now it takes a touchdown to beat you and not a lot of time to get it if you cover the kickoff well. From inside the 10, here he comes. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. And after this play, the cake will be baked. He's looking to throw it. Feeling the heat as he lets it go. Falls incomplete. They fought to the final whistle, but that's going to do it. 